Hey guys, it's Derek, Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center. I want to teach you guys how to do this, uh, what is it? I just did it. Kindness versus hate, okay? The kindness versus hate trick. Uh, what you need to do this, uh, you can use these kind of silks that I use, and you can use the dove pan that I use, and, uh, and you'll be set. It's really easy that way. Now, what I use is a Jesus silk, a saint, well, hold on. I use Jesus silk, a Satan silk, and then I had uh, three three colors from the Jesus silk that I used, and then there was three colors from the Satan silk that I used, and then I used a double load dove pan to be able to do this. Now to give you an idea of how this is done, the first load, well you know what, never mind, first what I want to say is, if you do not have these particular silks or you're you're just lacking in that area, um, with 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 just not having these materials. You could have paper or just take a handkerchief and write the words on it, and that would be a really simple way to do it. To be able to put them, if you have a dove pan to do it, or you could do it with uh, with a change bag. You could do it with pockets. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You just want to put a couple of things in that represent kindness, a couple things in that represent hate, so that when you pull it back out, it's it's this other thing. So to do this the way that uh, we had Dodo do it, is we're using the double loaded dove pan. What that means is there's two pans in the dove pan, and I've used this before, if you guys have watched other videos, and then now the final load has the Jesus silk, silk in it, so we're going to put that into this load, and what I've done with the way um, I work this and the way I usually do this when I have to use a double load is I'll put some kind of stand which this time I use this box but usually I like to use like an upside down cup or, or something so that when I when I want to put the top down basically it works like this this is my second load and it's sitting underneath my stand here just like this so when I go to put my top back down on the shelf, what I'm really doing is I'm putting it on top of that load so it gets loaded into the dove pan. All right? So this is down under here. This is on top of it. And then these three silks are out here. It doesn't matter which side you put them on. This is just the way I did it. And then the Satan silk is loaded into the first load, like so, and this one's just already in the top. Then these three silks are laid out, and the reason I started with the top underneath here is so that later when I set it back underneath, it's a almost natural thing. They're not going to say, why did he put that in there? If, it's, if this is sitting up here beside this when I start, and then I go to put it underneath, they're going to go, why did he put it underneath? He could have put it right beside it. That's weird. So if you start out with it underneath, you've kind of got, you're already giving the audience a feel of how this is going to go. You, because they understand, okay, he's putting the top underneath. He, he re, you reach under and you pull the top from underneath. So when you put it back underneath, of course it will be a little lower, or you, if you got something to the side of you, I've, I've sometimes had my stand to the side of me and I'll put it down over there. And I kind of do it like, I can also, you, let me just give you an idea of the way Dodo did it uh, for the kids. We did the three silks put in. They can be whatever you like as long as they symbolize some kind of hate. And it's better to show this like this and not exactly like this because this is a little... Some people can kind of see that this is going to look different than when you put the load in. So you put those three in, you go underneath the, or from the side, wherever you want to set this back to put the second load in, make sure that's where you have it when you pull it out. So I put this down and now we've got this set. Now, now what I'm doing is as I, as I finish this, I'm going down and I'm just automatically putting this down like I just set it down there on the shelf. Of course now it's got the next load in it. It's ready for the next thing. And you pull this out and you show the Satan silk. Okay? And so 
what you could do if you wanted to, just so you can get an idea, I have to unload it. If you wanted to, to give it a little bit more of a distraction, you go to pull this off to reveal the Satan silk. Okay, so let's say you want to put this over here on, on your other side. Well, you could have a volunteer come up and they can take this and they can walk around with it and show people the Satan silk. So then you can put your top on the next load or however you want to do it. You could then have it on the side. There's a lot of ways you could do it while this is walked around and people are seeing, oh, that's Satan. You know, you're walking. You know, it gives somebody something to do. It also provides you with a distraction for a moment where you can do other things here on the stage. We're cut here. Alright, so for the next part, you put in your next silks, you put these in, say what they mean, having to do with kindness, and it's just the same, you, know, you go to grab the top again, set it down, and now we've got Jesus silk. And I, at the end, I put this down here. But you can put it back underneath, you can do whatever you like with it, and then show the Jesus silk, and you're done. You've, it's really that simple. If you use any other method, it's going to be basically the same idea. You want to have a couple things go in and then show this Satan that this is how we are or how we're perceived when we are having hate or showing and doing hateful things in our lives. And then, same thing with kindness, you would put those things in, you're being perceived as, as Christ-like. And so that's it, guys. Enjoy it. See you next time.